Hello, I am Dr. Tina Thomas, obstetrician and gynecologist. I work with Motherhood Cradle Apollo and RXDX Bangalore. A cer a cervix is the area where it comes into contact with a foreign body during a sexual intercourse. So, there are chances of uh, infection and uh, leading to cervicitis. So these are the changes which come in during a sexual contact. Any bacteria which is there in the vaginal region or uh, during the sexual intercourse, there can be a penetration of bacteria into the cervix, which is the mouth of the womb. So there can be reactions happening due to bacterial penetration leading to any inflammation or infection leading to cervicitis. So these are the changes. Now changes can be temporary. Uh, when they come as mild inflammation comes and goes off or if there is an infection which is self-limiting and goes off. Uh, change can be permanent when you have been infected with certain viruses which make a permanent change in the mouth of the womb. So to check into these changes which happen into the in the mouth of a womb there is a test called pap smear which is a mandatory test for every woman after 30 years of age or after 3 years of their first sexual contact, this mandatory test is done through the vagina. The, the gynecologist sees the mouth of the uterus that is the womb, that is the cervix and takes a small discharge from the womb and sends it for testing. It, it is a completely painless method, just a small discomfort with a minimal cost involved. And this pap smear is done, is a screening test to see for any changes in the cervix and any chances of future cervicitis causing any other major abnormalities specifically cancer. So a pap smear is a test to see the cervical changes which happen and should be done by every uh, woman every once in one to uh, one, every two to three years till they reach 65 years of age.